you guys the tire. This is the tire, you guys. I swerved off of the road. You hear that bass drop? I do. It's Jared and Sable. On Jay Esco, what? <laughs> it is your homegirl Sable and Jared back it again with a brand new vlog. Okay, you guys. So right now it is currently 4:12. As you guys can see, it's 4:12, and like me we and Jared, are we are driving back. back from Arizona to California. And guess what happens? Just our luck, because you guys already know crazy stuff happens to us all, all the, the time. time. So like, <laughs> basically, our tire, like my the tire. This is my car. Of my car popped. So we're literally stranded in the middle of Arizona. Like our signal is bad. We don't have any Wi-Fi. Like we're switching to unlimited. We're supposed we, we were supposed to do it like a few weeks ago, and of but, course we don't have any like internet right. connection. Our our signal is spotty for like our carrier, and it's just it's it sucks. So like, we're just like literally in the middle right. of nowhere. And like in this area too, you guys. It's kind of like there's no cities, no rest stops, anything. So basically, every time we called AAA to come out, they couldn't yeah. locate our coordinates. Nobody was helped, and they had to send us because we live in California. Obviously, we live in LA, so we they had to keep routing us to Arizona because we're almost at the um, state border, right? So the first call we called the guy, and the guy is what is what does he say? Like, oh, okay. Um, no, the no, first, the first, first it was a girl. We had a lady, and then right. like my service disconnected, so I had I Jared call, call back. Right. AAA and we use basically my membership card and the guy you know we he, he couldn't locate us for some reason so like we so surprisingly like I Jared sent his location through my phone, phone yeah. to his phone and then basically what happened was like it wasn't sending because you know our 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 connection is being throttled right now because we don't have unlimited but well, not it, only it that. ended up sending we right. don't have There's signal literally either. like one so, tower. so basically what happened is that it sent while we were on the phone with him while we we're waiting he put us on hold and when he came back it it just you know we gave him the coordinates right. thankfully so they're on our way and their we were way. freaking out you guys because we you know this is scary like i'm gonna show them just like real quick i'm gonna get out just to show them because the, here here's your purse i'm gonna because like let me show you guys Use really the light so they can see the, the oh yeah and i'm gonna show you guys the damage all right, let me have the phone. All right, you guys, <laughs> this is literally, look, we are on a highway, as you can see. Look, there's trucks. It's so dark out here, so scary. I'm about to turn on the flashlight on my phone. Okay, as you guys can see, there's literally nothing out here. <laughs> look, okay, I'm gonna show you guys the tire. This is the tire, you guys. I swerved off of the road. Luckily, we're safe, we're fine. And there is a spare tire, as you can see. There's a giant bear. Like, we have all of our luggage in the back. Like, this is just insane. Like, we are literally out here in the middle of nowhere. The sky is really nice. You can see the Big Dipper. I know you guys can't probably see that on camera. But, yeah, like, we we are really out here like it's so crazy like as you guys can see the tire is totally flat like we swerved like it was like, insane. honestly right now i am so tired i am exhausted but i have to stay up because you know we have to drive so we have literally no other choice they're supposed to be coming in about like 50 minutes you know yeah. i had to use the restroom so i had to pee literally outside into the wilderness like there's cars that are coming by and trucks and i'm getting so scared because the whole car is like exactly. shaking it as keeps soon as shaking it keeps shaking but you know what you guys like it's 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 so funny like we were just talking about this like it's never a dull moment with it, me it and really, Sable. It really it's never. <laughs> it's like first we get locked into a garage for like eight hours and Blake now has this to happens. go into the attic and there's like other things we get stopped by the police it's like all the time non-stop things keep happening to honestly us. you like, guys like why don't we like pretty soon like I hope we can just become daily vloggers because a lot of the stuff that happens like we don't have on camera it's exactly. you guys don't even know and the half and of it's it it's kind of like <laughs> I, you know hopefully you guys enjoy us vlogging and stuff because like honestly I would love to vlog my entire life right. to do that right. so if you guys like these vlogs just keep liking them supporting them you know sharing them with your friends whatever but like honestly I'm I'm just shook I hadn't I had no idea like this was going to happen and it's really tonight. cold out here but we have like the heat going you know because I put gas in the car so that's good but now I'm trying to figure out because we have all of our luggage so yeah. the trunk is packed 
the trunk is packed and we also brought back some souvenirs we went to thrift shops yes. as you guys saw in the vlog so basically the trunk is full so we're gonna have to pull out all the luggage get the spare tire out then the, they're gonna have to change the spare tire but also sable has her um stock factory tires from this car so we can't just throw that on the side of the road we actually have to take that with us so we're like also like we have to find room because yeah. there's just stuff even in the back like it's literally only enough room for me and her so yeah, now we have to find a uh, room for a tire i mean a rim I, I, it's just insane you got like this is insane like we have no food because the woman at the gas station was being very rude yeah that's that's a whole nother and that's story. A whole nother like, story honestly we've just been through the most like right now and like if we when we get into california i already know it's gonna be really trafficy around san diego and then also in the la area because people are just waking up from like uh, sleeping and they want right. to go to their Which job. Which is why we to decided go. to leave tonight because basically we wanted to avoid uh, all of traffic that traffic. And, what, and of course, <laughs> just how it works out. But you know what? Life is all about just experiencing yeah. things. You just have to be positive and through anything. Yeah, as I'm speaking it. about it, like as soon as it happened when we were swerving, uh, at first we were nervous, but this has happened to us before. I was just kind of laughing, just like when we were locked literally in the garage for eight hours. I was just laughing the entire time because you right. know it's funny. You have have to find the light in whatever situation there you is really and the do. lesson behind it you really do and like we of course like we said a million and one times in the vlog that you guys saw about the situation we actually were cracking up the whole time the whole because entire time. we could not believe like is this this, <laughs> this is a little less funny because i'm like really really tired I'm, right now we don't even have any energy uh, like we're running out of monster you guys and, oh, and like i smushed up. i smushed up the the cup because like i didn't want to go out on my side right here because i'm towards the traffic mm -hmm. so like i had to get out on basically the driver's seat because it's i wasn't safer. it's safer and it's like i over. guess my shoe like one of my fenty puma slides it like kicked the can so it's all dented in now but you know what it's so <laughs> funny too it's like and now we have the camera. We didn't have the camera when we were locked or our phones to even vlog or yeah, anything. Exactly. We were locked in the um, garage. So, yeah, now we have that. But it's just kind of like, wow. Wow. Like this, you know, something always has to happen. But it's literally never a dull we, moment. It's never a dull moment. You already know JS Squad. Yeah. So, Team Jable in the comments. Give Team it up Mabel. one time because you know we're survivors out here. Shout out Destiny Shout because And I know. just I just hope this triple A guy comes here quick. I know and we've fast. been waiting. But you know what's so cool? It's funny because like we're vlogging, we we're listening to some music earlier and like it just Oh, but know, that's another whole that's a whole nother story. Like we couldn't even I couldn't listen to any of my music that I had on SoundCloud because you know our our data ran out so it's just <laughs> yeah it's just been it's been quite it's the, just been a lot yeah but it, you it know really has. I mean, we're gonna get through it by and the time we get home the sun will definitely, definitely be up, be up. <laughs> so wow yeah but at least you know it was a fun trip going to arizona seeing a few of my friends like i actually know quite a few people in arizona i know about like 10 people in oh yeah arizona. she saw she saw her old childhood friend claire yeah so, so shout out was, to claire that was pretty nice i wish i could have seen her a little bit longer but like the way that things were working out we couldn't really do it schedule wise so next time i come out here i'm probably gonna spend more time with her and like a few other people but i'm really happy that i got to see blake and um just like his whole family and everybody they're so nice and they're so Very good hospitable. to me we love them like yeah. they're they're amazing people so you know i'm just i'm just happy that you guys are here to just be with me and comfort me while the, all of this is going I on i mean we're really i mean this the whole car is shaking every time a truck come, passes by like i'm in my comfy clothes like i'm just chilling and stuff but yeah. you know it's crazy mm -hmm. it's crazy like <laughs> low tire pressure and then the tire blew out and we thought that we could make it to the next exit, exit. but we, we, we couldn't. couldn't there's we couldn't. nowhere we're literally in the middle of nowhere literally right when we said okay maybe we can ma we can make it to the next exit which is Blythe nope <laughs> no the car just said nope and yeah, it just, just gave out go, gave out and went out of control but um we'll get through we're it. safe we're good this guy hopefully is coming in the next like 25 minutes so you know definitely we will keep you guys updated hello hello service girl? Yeah. yes i was just calling to make sure our service provider had made it out to you uh no we're still in the car 
Okay, have they been able to reach out to you yet? Uh, no, we were just about to call because we've okay, been... Okay, let me place you on hold for just a moment. I'll, get, I'll see if I can get an ETA update for you, okay? Okay, please, because the phone it's might disconnect. Hour. Yeah, it'll be real quick. All right, when they put you on hold, pray for Jared and Sable in the comments. <laughs> Did you know vehicle batteries typically so glad the JS squad is here with us. Oh my god. And how many cars have to pass by before this tow truck comes? I'm getting anxiety right now. There's nothing out here. Sure. <laughs> Went crazy for a second. I'm Sounds like there's some trucks on his end of the lawn. At this point, I'm hungry. As soon as we get to Blythe, I'm literally going to be getting some Denny's and I'm going to be devouring some cheese fries. I am so hungry. I'm starving out here. It's cold. Wasting all of my gas on this emergency blinker. Well, in heat, because then we'll freeze to death. <laughs> it's freezing out here. <laughs> He's on his way. He's at my mile marker 50 now. So they're, they're thinking he'll be there within about 20 minutes. 20? Um, we've, been, we've been waiting for over an hour and a half. They said 4.30 now, 4.50. No, like... Is she, does he have our location? Because I'm scared. Yeah, because we've still been out here. How is it 20 minutes now? I mean, there's nothing. He's about 20 minutes away. But let me also verify because they, they put in that you were near exit 69 um, on the westbound side. Are you before or after the exit? I we gave, gave, gave him the coordinates. Exact we coordinates. gave the exact coordinates. Okay, well, I'm sorry, but they didn't give me the exact coordinates. They just gave me the <laughs> we're supposed to send you on your exit 69. Okay. Okay, well, so then can I give you the exact coordinates? Absolutely. Okay. I'm ready for that whenever you Okay, are. so the exact coordinates is 33.569684. Okay. The next one is negative 113.356022. Okay, and can you repeat the first one again for me? Uh, please, that was 33.56. 9684. Okay, got it. Why wow. wouldn't... I'm in disbelief. I'm in shock. <laughs> I'm in shock. Okay, is it, can they hurry? Like, we've been out uh, here. They can only drive as fast as the speed limit allows them. Okay. Uh, and unfortunately, you're you're out in an area where. Yeah, there, but I don't understand why the person. Well, it's like, hard. It's whatever. We don't, just don't really even tell him. Have like phone service. Okay. All right. But uh, they'll be out to you within about 20 minutes. Um, and it was by uh, mile marker 50. So. Um, they'll be able to get off, get off there, and you might be close enough where they can just hop back on right there. Okay. All right. Um, but I'll give them a call on them. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So, if you guys just heard that, 
we have been going back and forth with the triple a people we had to do their job of basically locating our own longitude and latitude i sent it to him he's like oh that helps perfect Appar we have and it's like Coordinate. apparently now, they didn't even give them the, the coordinates, coordinates to us and then when we called before the lady said oh they're, they we had everything in the system for a later time than they originally quoted and now they're saying 20 minutes because the, it's like so hopefully this guy calls because if not we're stranded <laughs> like <sighs> i just don't even have any words anymore i am just speechless oh my god i think i think oh my god yes <coughs> you guys i'm choking right now finally we are being saved we're being saved. The truck is here. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Oh my God. Make sure you have your card ready. Okay. Oh. Okay, you guys, so basically we are on the wrong side of the road. So basically, as you can see, the tow truck is backing up right now. Basically, we're going to have to get towed to the nearest city, which is about 100 miles away, which is Blythe, to like a tire shop, right? <laughs> and then at the tire shop, we are going to basically have to get a new tire. So this is just going to be a long process. I told him to hopefully if he can give me the information so that I can call ahead of time so we're just not waiting around because basically... He said that the donut spare tire is only rated up to 50 miles per hour. And obviously, to get back home, we're going to have to drive faster than 50 miles per hour. It's just a lot. So, um, I'm just going to keep... Are going to be in the car while he Yeah, passes? he's going to put... It's, it's a flatbed, so the car is going to be in the back, and we're going to be in with him. So, we will keep you guys updated, okay? Give me a few minutes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, guys, we're going into this tow truck right now, like... I know I probably look really crazy, but you know, we're in the middle of nowhere right now. Thankfully, you know, we are getting the car towed, so. Yep, getting it loaded up right now, so. going to get some at this gas station but the lady was being rude and really? we needed snacks yeah and she didn't, didn't up or what? well because what happened was like we went up to the window like I pulled her up to the window it was one of those places where after a certain time you can't walk into oh, the like, store like I think because it was a, yeah. a, a college well no because it was a college uh, college town like near Arizona State basically um, there was like a few people who were at the window like she was helping them and then we were getting our gas so we went to use the restroom, we came back and like like my brother just pulled up into the front and she she was just basically acting like she didn't see us. Like we just right. like got gas and she was like making it a big deal for him to like move in a certain spot. But she told us basically her. to like get away from the well, window. We, had, we had a monster so we were Yeah, like, it was okay, like we, we should be good until we get to Blight, but apparently we yeah, Apparently there, not, so. but now we're we're going to Blight, so yeah. here we are on the road. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, and it's so cool just being up this high and being in the... It's a lot larger on the inside. I never knew. Yeah. 
so yep. It's cool to see it from this perspective of being in Okay, so we're pulling into this um, California inspection station. Oh, okay, we got through. Here we are in Blythe at the tire and automotive 24 hour service. <laughs> And as you guys can see, the sun is coming up. But Eddie has been a huge help. Anytime, anytime. Yep. Bringing us to the tire shop. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to get it, you know, put on. I'll be back on the road in no time. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, you guys, it is about 6.30 in the morning right now, and we are in Blythe. We just arrived to the tire shop. Basically, the guy quoted us one price and said that the tire, and this is a used tire, you guys, is going to be around $75, right? So we get there, and the guy in the shop now is saying that, oh, because he had to come from his house and all this other stuff, and I'm coming in early, that it's 6 o'clock, it's gonna be, he, and he, he was just punching in random numbers on the calculator talking about, the tire is gonna be $145. And we're just like, no, we're not paying that, especially for a used tire. And then he's like, okay, so, well, if you guys wait until eight o'clock when I actually open, then it'll be $75. And mind you, this is for a used tire. But what I'm thinking is, it's kind of crazy because you're already here. Why don't you just no, change I the tire? Told you. He said to go to Parker and then we would get the. It's just the crazy. Wheel it's just crazy. $45. It's just insane. Like, no, he okay, didn't say that. Ride. No, he didn't say that. Okay. I brought up Parker, remember? I brought that up. I said Walmart. There was no tire shop. So we would have had to buy a tire then find someone to install it. So would you rather have done that? <laughs> so right now, we're gonna have to wait about two hours. We're heading over, there's like a McDonald's in the distance, basically. We're gonna basically find something to eat because at this point, I don't know if you guys can see, the McDonald's is like way over there. There's like Carl's Jr. and a few other things. We're just out here on the streets and, um, we're gonna find some food, and then hopefully when eight o'clock comes, we can actually get the tire changed. I really don't understand why he couldn't have just changed the tire for that price now, since we're already here. So we left the car at the um, tire shop, and we're gonna go back to the car after we finish eating, and we're just gonna wait until eight o'clock, because it's not worth paying an additional, what, $80 or whatever? I just don't even wanna go to him. It, it's just not worth it. I mean, well, we have to, we have There's no choice. No so basically we are going to be updating you guys in a second okay you guys so you know I have a little bit of food in me and like now me and Jarrett we are at this new auto place thankfully triple a was able to put on our spare tire we have like a donut tire that we got put on and we waited until like about 8 a.m. so that there could be a few like auto shops that were open so we could get away from the other like scammers and whatnot so we're at this really nice um, auto shop and I just want to apologize if I seem really rude and like mean in the last clip but so much has been going on this past week so much has been going on just this like this night it's, I haven't slept in over like 28 hours but you know I honestly I'm thankful like I'm so thankful that this situation didn't end up worse it could have been worse I could have been killed we could have swerved out of control into a truck anything could have happened and you know the fact that you know me and Jared were able to get through this together they're about to put on our tire and we're probably gonna be out by like probably nine like in the next hour or so so it should be fine so you guys we are back on the road as you can tell we are driving so we are about to be home in a few hours and I'm just so happy thankfully you know everything went well with the tire so we're on our way back home and you know I'm just so happy and excited to be home so I can go to sleep Anyway, you guys, um, I want to give a quick post notification shout out of the day. It goes to this person right here. If you guys would like a post notification shout out of the day, you must be subscribed. Turn on those post notification bells. Follow us on any of our social medias. And then comment in the comment section below when you are done. We love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much, JS Squad. Thank you, JS Squad. And until next time. Peace. Peace love. love. And, and an abundance of joy. Thank you guys for being on this journey with me. I'm dead tired.